So today we're going to do the alternator uh, relocation. Uh, I've got the brackets from a guy on eBay and got a shorter belt. So I'll show you guys the parts. We're going to pull the battery and figure out what we need to do to take the alternator out and go from there. So we start by taking the belt off. You guys can see that it's a 15 millimeter bolt down in there, right down there. And then you got to loosen the uh, either belt pulley bolt. So you get the belt off, then you start on your AC system. I disconnected the hoses, get ready to pull the compressor off. We'll get that up and out of the way. And then we'll move to getting the alternator down from out of here to putting it up here with the new brackets we have. Along with, I plan to delete all this AC shit just because I don't have it. It don't work. So why do I need it? Let me get to finish taking these bolts out. You guys can see there's four bolts that hold it. And then one right there. So we'll get all that out and we'll go from there. So, let me get some white on this. Broke a bolt holding the AC compressor. Shouldn't be a problem. This bracket is going to sit in here like this. And then this bolt comes out right here. And we have a new bracket, new bolt for that. And then we'll secure the alternator, which is still down in there. Got two bolts to take out of that. We'll move the alternator up. And that should get us up here. And then we'll put the new belt on and boom, we should be done. Down here is the alternator. You guys can see this bolt comes out right here. Let me get my hand out of there, but right here. These bolts can stay. It's just all part of the bracket system. I'm not going to even dig with trying to remove that. And then there's one long bolt up top. And then we'll just pop this out of here and take it up top and set on the new brackets. We got the first bracket in. You can see the other brackets mounted up. Now we're going to pull the alternator out from the bottom, leaving the wires connected. We're going to set the alternator up in here, get it all situated, and we should be good. So here we have the alternator sitting up top. Pulley alignment is perfect. You guys want to make sure the belt is sitting on all the pulleys correctly, and then you get the proper tension on it by tightening down. Where you go? That bolt, right there. And once that's tightened down to where the tension's tight, you snug up the bolt on the idler pulley. Now before I fire this, I will crawl underneath it and double check the crank pulley al uh, belt alignment. You get the battery situated in here. And they'll be able to go. As I was saying up top, you guys just want to check all the belt routing. Make sure it's all good. Looks like we're good on, dead on. And then we're going to get ready to fire this thing up here in a second. Uh, the, the alternator. Relocated. It's relocated. Now we're going to fire it up. Now we're going to fire it up. So, AC system's gone. We're going to go through and still remove all this crap. I just don't feel like doing it today. But, alternator's done. Fire right up. No squeal from the belts, which tells me it's properly tight. We'll get this... Like I said, this other crap out of here. I just don't feel like doing it today. We'll call it good for the day. So... Alternator looks 10 times better up there. So, a couple little hiccups just because of stubborn old parts, broken bolts. Uh, lucky for me, it's still only about an hour job. I had a little helper out there today. You guys got to hear his voice. My kids usually don't get to participate in this kind of stuff. Um, they're always out in the garage with me, but if I'm making videos, I try to keep them off of it. Uh, he's been beg begging to do it, so I figured let him have a little fun. Y'all, thanks for watching. God bless.